Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair. Today, I want to talk to you about your dreams. Most importantly, why are your dreams, most of them, why they don't come true? See, most people fail to make their dreams come true not because of a lack of desire, but because of a lack of will. See, quitting smoking, losing weight, starting a business, writing a book, making more money, becoming debt-free. For anything that you want to achieve in life, the steps to achieving it are easy to search for, come up with, write down on a napkin, and most of all, follow. Yet every day, people continue to smoke, to gain weight, remain fiscally irresponsible, and to stay at a job that they dislike. Every day, they do the exact opposite of what they say they want to do. Now, why is that? Well, say hello to the acrasia effect. So human beings have been starting and stopping projects, setting but not achieving goals, intending but not following through on resolutions, and procrastinating for centuries. Not one of us is immune to this behavior pattern. The problem is so timeless, in fact, that the ancient Greek philosophers like Socrates and Aristotle develop a word to describe this type of behavior. And again, it is called acrasia. Acrasia is a state of acting against your better judgment through the weakness of will. It's when you do one thing even though that you know you should be doing something else. Acrasia is what prevents you from following through on what you set out to do. It's the thing that prevents writers from writing, painters from painting, runners from running, and coaches from coaching. In my book, it's a beast of a problem that warrants a beast of a solution. So buckle up, because that is what we're going to focus in on. Now, precisely because acrasia is the state of acting against your better judgment through weakness of will, that it's in your best interest to learn how to strengthen and to enforce your will over any form of behavior or psychological weakness. So what is this thing called will or willpower, and how do you use it to overcome the damaging effect of acrasia? See, willpower is your superpower. It's an undeniable declaration you're going to succeed. It is the ability to give yourself a command, a direction, a target, and then to do what it takes in order to achieve it. There is no command that is great nor any words as powerful as the words I will. There is strength, conviction, depth, solidarity, decision, focus, confidence, and sheer determination in the loud ringing tone which punctuates your delivery. The words I will send an advanced message to your mind and to those with an earshot. It's a message of endurance. It's a message of triumph over adversity, of victory in the face of great resistance, of the strength, the will, and the personal constitution to stare down acrasia and to persevere until the end. So let me share with you a few examples of the word I will and the power, the strength, and the conviction that they provide for you. I will change my life. I will lose this weight and get in excellent physical shape. I will be financially independent and debt-free. I will set the right example and raise excellent kids. I will get through this better, stronger, and smarter. I will not be defined by this. I will turn this around and emerge victorious. I will make this the best year of my life. In the absence of willpower, without the ongoing enforcement of will, the most complete collection of talents, the best education money can buy, and the most honorable intentions in the world are absolutely worthless. So let's talk about enforcing your will, what it means and how to do it. See, when it comes to execution, you can't wait around for the mood or feeling to hit you. That's nothing more than a cop-out. You accomplish nothing that way, and if you're truly in it to win it, then your mind and your will must know that it's time to get to work. Every morning is destiny's way of telling you that your purpose is not yet done, that there's still some work for you to do. That today will present you with both opportunities to advance your situation as well as obstacles that are armed and ready to test your resolve. Therefore, you must mentally prepare yourself to pounce on every opportunity and determine in advance that nothing can stop you from reaching your goal in the same way that no force can stop the sun from rising or the tide from advancing. See, most people fail to achieve their goals not because of a lack of desire, but because of a lack of will. That's why you must learn to enforce your will. That's why you must learn to overcome resistance and to put one determined foot in front of the other until you get to the end. And learning how to strengthen your will to overcome every obstacle and to fast track your goals is one of the many important things you'll learn once you begin the 100 Day Challenge. So check it out at 100daychallenge.com and make it the very next thing you do.